Creator.ai is back on AppSumo. So if you didn't have a chance to grab this lifetime deal, you can grab it now because it is available back on AppSumo. I'm not sure if it's because of Black Friday, but we are getting some of these older deals coming back onto AppSumo. So this is great. If you didn't get a chance to grab it the first time, you can grab it now from AppSumo. And Creator.ai is one of the most affordable AI copywriters on AppSumo. The single plan starts at $89 and you get all features included, all templates and all integrations and you also get unlimited characters each month and you have up to five active users. So essentially for $90, you get all of the features and unlimited characters for this tool lifetime. So that's a pretty good deal. The double plan gives you all of the features with some SEO capabilities and the multiple plan, which is $267, will give you all of the features in the double plan, but you'll also get some SEO research engine, which picks the top 10 of Google rankings for keywords, analyzes and creates content for them. And you also get a competitor analysis feature included. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at creator.ai and take a look at the features, the templates and the quality of output we can expect when using this AI copywriter. So once you have a plan for creator.ai, this is what your dashboard will look like. Again, a very traditional AI copywriter. We can see that we have um, different templates based on the type of content in which you're creating. So if you're writing a blog post, you have your blog specific templates. If you're writing a digital ad, you have your ad templates. If you're writing content for e-commerce brand, then you have um, those e-commerce specific templates, social media templates, video templates. And lastly, you have some specific writer or copywriting templates included. So you have a couple of different methods in which you can choose to use to generate content using creator.ai. The first method is by using these templates. So essentially you just click on that template. If we wanted to generate content for an email, we would click on that template and just follow the prompt. So what do you want to write about? You would just enter what that email text will be about. So let's say that we were sending out an email um, about the best ways to manage life and work as a busy parent while running a business. And we can also customize the settings by uh, changing the creativity, but it's usually best to leave that to optimal. We can also increase or decrease the number of outputs in which we get back. We can add a tone of voice and a target audience and emojis. For this example, I'll leave the tone of voice and the target audience blank, but I'll add some emojis in uh, this email so that it looks a little bit better. And once you're happy with all of your settings, just go ahead and click create and your content will be generated on the right hand side here. And there you go. You got some content in which you can use within your email. So I've went ahead and read through these and they're actually pretty good. So they address the issue, which is um, finding time to work on your business as a uh, busy parent. So it actually gives you some tips in which you can use um, to help you um, get more time back on your side and be able to uh, get the tasks done in which you need if you're running a business while being a parent. So you can set aside some time each day for a business. Don't forget to schedule in some time for yourself and your family. Be organized and efficient, delegate tasks, take breaks, and um, a nice little conclusion here. And we can see here in the other outputs that it kind of follows that same format. So I would say that these outputs are pretty good, pretty relevant, and pretty high quality based upon the input in which we gave the AI. The second way to generate content using creator.ai is by heading over to the editor. And this is where you'll be able to write long form articles or blog posts. So to get started, you would click this button next to the save icon. And this will allow you to combine the AI assistant, which will give you different uh, templates for specific uh, parts of blog posts or articles in which you'll be writing about and combine those to create your full length long form article. To get started, let's generate a blog intro. So the first thing that you'd want to do is to describe the blog topic in which you're writing about. So for this example, we'll be writing a blog post about how to gain more followers on TikTok in 2022. So again, we can um, add a product or service here. For this example, I'll leave this blank. Um, we can also change the settings, but again, I'll leave this blank um, because it's pretty much set up uh, to give us the best possible output. Actually, I'll add a target audience, which will be online marketers. And once we're happy with all of these settings, let's click create and see what type of content we get back from this tool. So these are the outputs in which we go back. As the world of social media continues to change and evolve, so does the ways in which we can gain followers. So in this blog post, we talk about how to get more followers. Um, that's the first output. The second output um, has a nice intro, but also um, goes into some meat of the article and actually has some specific actions in which you can take to get more followers on TikTok in 2022. So these are all pretty decent, but I like the last output the best because it actually talks about online marketers and it's very succinct and sort of gets to the point. So let's copy this. From a user experience perspective, I would like 
um, if this sort of um, AI section in which we had the different tablets, I would like if that was all integrated into one um, section on the document. I knew this was the case before when I did my first review, but it looks as though they've changed this around and the AI um, assistant with all of the different templates are now within a separate window because it can be kind of hard to go back and forth um, because you want to kind of see what content you already have to see what other content makes sense when you put it all together. Um, so I don't know if it's just a setting that I have, but it would be nice to have um, those templates built in to um, the same document. And also it would be a lot better if you were able to search up the specific template in which you're trying to use. Right now you have to scroll down and find that template in which you'll like to use. And that can be a little bit uh, time consuming and a little bit tedious so it would be a lot better if there was a search icon and you can search through um, specific templates so now let's generate a blog body paragraph so we're going to click that template and hit create so this is the body paragraph in which we got back from the ai again not bad by any means but um we definitely would need a lot more content if this was to be a complete article but this is a good starting point so let's copy that and paste it into our article another way in which you can generate content using this tool is by highlighting the content and as you can see you'll have um, some prompts in which you can use so you can hit paragraph to get a paragraph for that specific um, section in which you highlighted and as you can see you'll get generated content based upon that sentence in which you highlighted and you also have the option to improve that content or rewrite that content um, in which you highlighted so that's how you would use the long form editor to write a long form article or blog post using creator.ai in my honest opinion i'm a little bit disappointed in creator.ai it was very difficult for me to generate high quality content and it's also a little bit hard to use especially if you're a beginner or not used to using um, these ai copywriters it's not very intuitive and it's um, very difficult to navigate so i do think that they need to make some improvements if they would like to compete with some of the uh, top ai copywriters in the market because as you know it's getting very competitive and there's a lot of other really really good options but they do have some cool features included and they may be better suited for shorter form content because they do have some really good templates for that. And they also have a translate feature which allows you to input any um, text from any language and it will translate that language for you. So if that's something that you're interested in, then this tool would also be good for that. So if that's something that you would be interested in, then I would recommend grabbing this tool. I'll leave a link for the lifetime deal in the description below this video. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.